Morning folks, 30th of June. Can't believe it's the end of another month. Um, tomorrow going to July. Um, another big day here at Ferdin Koi Farm Bill. Um, Very big day, yeah. Today, so Ricky Doe's Anne and Ueno Showa. So two of the key parents, yep. fair to say. They were, they produced well for us last year and they seem to have done the same this year. So uh, yeah, looking, really looking forward to it. So in the last video uh, selection, we spoke about numbers. Numbers were a bit down, you think, on? Um, I don't think. Well, I mean, we we hadn't done the the the, uh, the um, Yamaguchi show before, uh, so that was new to us. Uh, and the um, Gray Spade was a, was was basically an experiment. We, we still kept lots of small yeah, yeah. ones, um, so we can you know still still well, those. But but today, these, these are the main yeah. main so group. Hoping that higher numbers go out today. Sure. Yeah. Uh, certainly. Uh, we spoke the other day around the mud ponds and um, Scott certainly felt that yeah, these were... The, the other day was kind of... The numbers were insignificant compared to what we're going to come out today. Yeah, absolutely. So, excellent. So we're going to start with Shoa. So for some reason Bill's not leaving the best till last today. <laughs> um, so we're going to start with the away no Shoa. Um, if you've seen Facebook and the previous video there's, there's you know six or seven Maybe more than that. No, 13, I think I posted in total. Um, there were real sort of favourites that I, I hope get through to the next stage of the grab pond from the Ueno Showa. And there's some nice kaku that were posted as well. So, should be some great stuff to show you and updates on fish that we've seen previously. Um, so, once we've got those in the bowl, as usual, we'll go through and have a chat about them. So, first net of the Ueno babies. Yeah, get it. That's it. Oh wow, 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 geez, okay, good. So Scott, what are your thoughts on the Ueno show so far? I'm amazed at the, how many of them are high quality. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not how you usually call. You did a good job. Beautiful. Well, all these just the bills throwing out now going into the, the middle bowl, so not the 90,000 gallon pond, but they'll go into it. I thought you weren't doing that. Uh, another concrete yeah. pond. It was too, there was no point in moving it everywhere else. In this net, we have the fish that have been selected to go to the 90,000 gallon concrete pond for growing on. So, Really nice looking fish in here, fish that we've also photographed previously. Many wow. new ones as well. See Bill's Kahaku made it through as well. Serious bias there for Kahaku from Bill. But some great looking potential showers amongst this lot. These need to be gone through and photographed and then Big calf does now. Oh, and Bill's just... oh another car too. Anyway, so we're going to photograph these, and then we pick out half a dozen in the net to look at more closely. So this one, Scott, is your favourite. My favourite. So tell us why. Well, it's because it's extremely clean. Very clean show up. The sumi's gonna come up. It's very deep, high quality. The white's great. I'm not concerned about the pattern at all. But this is a very high quality show up for the future. Very modern style. Uh, yeah, it is a modern style, but I don't know, I don't really think about that too much actually. But what I like the most about it is the sumi. Sumi, high, high quality sumi, which is what show is about. Okay. And when I say high quality sumi, I mean the quality of it is high, 
and it's very clean. Sibling, the same. This one, these are almost making it, almost. So, here we have maybe six of the best, who knows? Six I've picked out that appeal to me. Several of these, I think at least four of these, maybe five, appeared in previous videos and photographs. So these are ones that we'll track now over the course of the coming months. We won't see them properly until November when they're harvested. But so we have a keep a little eye on them in the, in the concrete pond as they grow. So these have got to go now because there's still Ricky Dozan to move on to. I've been put 67 the way no shower out to the 90,000 gallon dry up pond. It's got on Bill now moving on to the Ricky Dozan Kahaku. I usually put those aside to see what happens and I think they go along with it. Kind of sure. Yeah, they're not seeing anything with blue bottles. Sorry? I have not seen anything that's really hot. That's as good as that. I don't think it is. Okay. So, looking now for mm -hmm. definition of color, pattern, screen quality, for the best one to go to the 90,000 gallon pond. Oh, one. Right, here we have the selection of koi that are kaku, Ricky Dozen kaku that are going to go to the 90,000 gallon pond. Not sure how many there are at the moment, I would think maybe 60, maybe 70, somewhere around that number. Some of these we've seen before. This large one here, three step pattern, one we've seen before. One that won't be going out is the Devil Maritain that's only in here. So, unfortunately, uh, it didn't make the grade. So, this is going to go out anyway. Out as far as not being kept. With any going on it. But once we photograph these, we'll pick half a dozen or so out for specials which we can follow over the course of the coming months. So the 54 of the Ricky Dozan Kaku going out to the 90,000 gallon pond. These seven that I've picked out as ones I hope we can follow over the coming months and years. So look forward to seeing these again probably in November at the harvest weekend. Um, for now, time for them to go out to that 90,000 gallon concrete pond where they'll spend the next four months or so.